so better world won't let you go. No, no one in sight can capture the lights. We want to say hello to all the uh, doo wop fans around the world. Uh, we're trying to, today we're going to have a discussion on the history of doo wop in the city of Hartford, Connecticut. And most of the guys, uh, all the guys around this table, uh, were part of that uh, scenario from the 50s and through the 60s. Um, it's it's uh, safe to say that the majority of the guys in this uh, in this uh, circle here have appeared in such places as Radio City Music Hall, the Apollo Theater, the Bushnell, um, you name it, I think we've been there, from the casinos to uh, the lakes, Crystal Lakes, and, uh, and at some of the most popular TV shows. Uh, most of us grew up in the projects and we all had singing groups. Uh, Henry, I know you sang with the Bel Airs, a group called the Bel Airs, right. uh, and you're from the Charter Oak Terrace. Bellevue and, Square. In Bellevue Square, right. Russell Street. Right? And how did you get started in singing? Well, I got started when I was about six years old on the, they used to call a, a movie theater uh, the Scratch House, but it was the Daily Theater. Then it changed to the Star Theater, singing a Nat King Cole song. I come in second place. That's how I got started. And Larry, I know that you, you guys all, we all cut records and CDs, but Larry, how did you? Uh... Well, we, we were from the Park Street area, of course, and uh, you know, we met the guys from Chatter Oak Terrace and formed a friendship. But we started uh, we started uh, in a community center called the Mitchell House. You remember that? And um, four four or five of us got together and and uh, were looking for something uh, creative to do. And uh, everybody thought they could sing. So uh, we put together a small group and uh, we started rehearsing and pretty soon it sounded pretty good, to us anyway. If I remember correctly, the name of that group was the Embers. That's correct. Yeah, yeah and you guys, uh, you guys do Crystal Lake. Matter of fact, you guys appeared a lot with Gene Pitney. Yeah, well Gene, in the early days, Gene Pitney, first starting out, we had a, uh, we uh, backed Gene Pitney on several pieces of his original material and recorded it with him and also we had like a bus tour, and it was the Bel Airs were on the, mm -hmm. the bus tour, the Embers were on the bus tour, and we had two or three single acts plus a uh, six-piece band. And we traveled all around New England uh, doing rock and roll shows for the kids at movie houses. And we did that all over New England, uh, Connecticut, New York, uh, Massachusetts, all around the area. It became very popular. Well, also, um, Willie John, uh, Matter of fact, you know, I, I think I should have asked everybody to say their name. I'm George Cruz, by the way. I'm Willie John. And I'm Larry Lay Harper. Elijah McKinney. Henry Hall. And uh, most of us have nicknames, like Henry will call him Hawk. Uh, Elijah will call him Prez. Willie John will call Will. And Larry we call what do we call Larry? Little Larry. Larry. <laughs> Little Larry Lee. And I don't want to tell you what they call me. <laughs> Mr. George Cruz. But anyway, anyway, Willie John is originally from Alabama, and during the, the summer months or school vacations, Willie John used to come up north, and uh, he had family living in Stowe Village, where I'm from originally, and uh, Willie used to sing with, with the guys in the project. And I was a little guy, so they were a couple years younger than me, and I used to be outside the door listening to them, and they were great. And Willie John was one of the lead but, singers. But don't forget that we were in the cellars, George. We were not upstairs. You know, you had to listen. You had to come down to the cellars in Stow Village, right? And listen, you know. And we, and the sound was so beautiful that that I, I'd love to sing there today. <laughs> echoes. Yeah, the echoes. It was echoes. like an echo chamber. Acoustics. It was yeah. so beautiful. Yeah, and then I used to just sit outside and just listen, and that's how I learned, you know. And uh, Prez used to be with the Bel Airs, and um, Prez, I, I, first time I heard you guys was at Lid Hall, 
and I heard you sing a song, and I heard you sing, I think it was Teardrops by yeah. the yeah. Edwin Hart. Yeah. And, uh, and then after that, John, God rest his soul, John Hall was in the group then, the Bel Airs, and John was the lead, one of the lead singers then, and uh, he, John sang a song by the Skylanders called How Much. And when you guys did that, I was right by the speakers, and boy, the hairs on my arms stood up. Mm -hmm. But you know, getting back to what, what we originally were talking about was how the music has changed, how it changes us, you know, to present day. Mm -hmm. Like, we used to look forward to after school getting together and singing, mm -hmm. you know, or going, getting together and going somewhere and appearing, you know. And today, the kids, you know, their concept, they don't have that concept anymore. They're not into the music the way we were, and music has changed so much that sometimes it bothers me to hear it because, you know, I feel that uh, women are being disrespected because of the words that they're used for them and, you know, and, and, and the words. You know the things that are that are that are being said. I mean, you, if you want to elaborate on that, you know, if you elaborate on it. Well, well, back then our music was more about love, you know, and respecting the women, right. you know, and fun too, right? Yes, a lot of fun. <coughs> lot I mean, fun. like when 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 you say it was dances, right, uh, Hawk? Mm -hmm. Like we had the the twist, the pony, the monkey, the you know, just everything was the easy. slop. The slop, right? You know, <laughs> yeah. The mashed right. potatoes. The mashed potatoes, yeah. What was and the line dance? What was the line dance? That's like? well, the stroll. 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 That was the stroll. stroll. Yeah. yeah. Right. See, so we had everything. I mean, our music was fun. It was about romance, and we're gonna, you know, display some of that a little bit later because hopefully we can get together and sing for the crowd. You know, for the people that are that are tuning in. And don't forget begging. The woman, please don't leave me. Yeah. Please take me back. Yeah, we used to I'm do that. down on my knees. Yeah. Well, we like you say, that was the respect part. That was was different. But that was only because you had done something wrong. <laughs> yeah. Like looking at somebody else. Yeah. yeah. You but, had done something wrong. But I remember, see, at one time or another, all of us that are here had different groups, and you know, today we're still here and. But we got together to do this show, and even though we were with different groups, we've always been friends and we've always, you know, looked, uh, admired one another. Right. And here, I'll give you an example. Me, Prez, and Larry were in one group called the Serenades, and we sang at the Apollo Theater, and we won first prize at the Apollo Theater, by the way. Never forget that. Never forget. That was a real, real, you know, a good experience. Now, Willie and I today are singing in the same group, along with Henry. And we've appeared at the casinos, Foxwoods mm -hmm. Resort, and we've appeared there with groups such as uh, Johnny Maestro, who passed away recently, the, the Marvelettes, Sky, the Skyliners, the Marvel, the Tokens, Tokens, and tonight. yeah, and um, we've even done shows with uh, the Shirelles, Johnny Maestro, the the, the Bob, and Bridge. Bobby Lewis, some of the biggest stars you know around, but yet we still maintain our our relationship as good friends and every once in a while we get together and, and, and we'll sing. But just to give you an example now, also one time Larry was in the same group as Henry and Pratt. Right. Right? Yeah. right? Yeah. And then um, now Henry's in the same group as me and Willie. Right. So Interchangeable. And, right. And and you know, we we've all been together at one time or another. And we're so right. we're so in a way, we're still all together today. Right. And there was one time we were all in the same group together, all of us sitting here. Legacy. Right. Legacy. Yeah, legacy, right. right. We're yeah. all together. Yeah. And we have uh, some of those things, I, I guess they'll, they'll come on camera later, but we have photos of, you know, of us when we were a lot, a lot younger, even though I was still young. <laughs> <laughs> heart. Smile. <laughs> He's young at heart. <laughs> young at heart, yeah. But, um, you know, Willie John, at one time, there was a singer named Clyde McFadder. And at one time, everybody says, geez, that guy's singing sounds just like Clyde McFadder. Right, right Willie John? Still That's does. about it. I, I used to go out on the basketball court and sing while I was out there. Everybody thought that Clyde was out there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Jesus, is, Jesus. I says, no, no, it's just me. I, I can't play ball unless I'm singing. <laughs> and you know what? You know what's a funny thing? Willie John came up from Alabama one summer and he says to us, he says to us um, listen, let's try this song, it's called The Twist, you know? So we had never heard it, so Willie was teaching it to us, right? Mm -hmm. 
And we asked Willie, Willie, who made this song? He says, a guy named Hank Ballard. And the right. Midnighters. And the Midnighters, yeah. And the um, funny thing is that about 15 years later, here comes Chubby Checker. And guess what he records? <laughs> The twist. And guess how much money he made? Woo, <laughs> Astronomical. <laughs> Another million sellers. You know? Isn't that something? Know. And you know, uh, maybe maybe uh, uh, Press can elaborate on this. In Hartford, there was a, a, a theater that was called the State. And State Theater used to have talent of all varieties. Uh, I remember Abbott and Costello, Tony Bennett, Andy Williams, Frank Sinatra, and all the Frankie Lyman and the teenagers, all the singing groups. and. Uh, Chuck Berry and you know Flamingos. Bo Diddley, the Flamingos, you name them, they all appeared. Am I right, Press? That's right. What was so good about it is we would see maybe ten different acts on the same show, you know, and pay that one low price. And, and a and, movie. Yes. And, and a cut too. Yes. And another okay. thing that was interesting about the State Theater was that uh, at the end of the shows they had talent shows. Right. Mm -hmm. And the Bel Airs appeared on the talent shows. Willie and I never did that because we were too young. Yeah, well, right. You guys are all a lot older than sure. us. So. <laughs> I never made the State Theater. I, could, I don't even know what was going on. I was at the State Theater. Let me tell you the story about the State Theater and me. I was at the State Theater when I was about 12 years old. I remember I was, uh, I was playing Little League at that time. So I was 12 years old, last year Little League. And I snuck into the State Theater. And the first group I saw was a group called the Moon Glows, Harvey and the Moon Glows. And they did a song called The Ten Commandments of Love. And when they came out, the theater got dark. All of a sudden, the spotlight hit all the guys in the background. They sang one in harmony. Mm -hmm. And when I heard that, the hairs on my arms stood up. I got the goosebumps. And then Harvey came out, thou shalt never love another. <laughs> And that was it. I was, I was hooked. I was hooked. That was like me getting a shot in those days. I, after that, that's all I wanted to do was sing. Mm -hmm. When I went back to the project, that was it. I got all, all the guys that, oh, let's try, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got started in singing. Yeah, but you know what, George? Uh, the reason, uh, I think the reason that all of us got involved was in those days, you know, we were all from poor families. Nobody had any money. And we really had nothing to do. There were no extracurricular activities anywhere. So what we did is we got together as groups and we exercised what creativity we had with each other. And we worked on it and we almost worked together as a team. Mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, so, and, and over the years, we became better and better and better at it. Then we started entertaining in places and uh, first in the high schools and so forth where the kids really loved what we were doing. And then we just got better and started going to clubs and doing other things and so forth and ended up uh, earning a little bit of money doing that. So it was, it was a different world. Well, talking about a different world, my B cop, his name was Paul, the name of the last name was Lombardo. And we'd be on the corner singing and everybody would be around listening, you know, and, and uh, Paul would come by and says, wow, you guys sound better and better every night. And then he say, but you know what, it's 9 o'clock, time to get in, <laughs> in the house. You. And we say, okay, Paul, you know, and, and we all go home. Yeah. You know, that was respect that we had. Absolutely. You know, for the law and for our elders, oh, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. And today, the world has changed. It's not such. It's yeah. not as such. And I don't know, you know, we can say this, we can say that. But I think music has had a lot to do with it because Definitely. the music of today, a lot of it shows a lot of violence. A lot of it doesn't. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't say all of it, but... Our music, I don't think, ever showed any violence. Right. You know, George, <clears throat> the early music brought people together. Everybody. Rock and roll, when it first began, was a uniting factor. Well, it wasn't rock and roll. It started out rhythm and blues. And blues. Yeah. Then they changed it to rock and roll right. when they start having problems. After the show was over, you have little skirmishes. Yeah. So they would ban the shows. And when they banned the shows, they changed the names, Review, uh, mm -hmm. Frankie Lyman's Review. Then all of a sudden, they start saying Rock Review. Then they start saying Rock and Roll. Review. And Rock and Roll stuck. But I want everybody to know it started out as Rhythm and Blues. Now, how I got the name Doo-Wop was that later on, 
the harmony background would say do up do up right so they started calling it do up do that's where that came from you know and willie john you used to sing in church you started out singing in church am i correct well yes i i, I was singing in catholic church and the choirs and uh, basically that's it i started a third fourth grade in school singing in choirs and you know just 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 that alone you know the kids it goes to show that you know our families were also churchgoers Although sometimes my mother would give me a quarter, throw in a basket, and I'd stop at the drugstore and get a milkshake. You know? yeah. <laughs> With that quarter, you no know. No pack I mean. of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> on, 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 on Park Street, we, uh, we had two churches on Park Street. We had St. Anne's on Park Street. Right across the street from St. Anne's was the Bean Pot Restaurant. Remember that? Yeah. That's where we used to call Bean Pot Church. Be oh, that was money down the church. To church over there and play the pinball machine. For the Bean Pot. Yeah, <laughs> bean pot yeah. Well, anyway, um, uh, like I said, times have changed, you know, music has changed, uh, the society itself has changed, and, you know, we wish that we could stress to the kids how beautiful our music was and, and what we were all about, and um, uh, hopefully, you know, if some of the kids watch this show, it'll have, uh, it'll have a, a, some kind of a emphasis on, on them, you know what I mean? Positive and, effect, yeah. Yeah, you know, positive, positive uh, mm -hmm effect on them and also uh, while I got a minute here I just want to thank Access TV uh, for doing this show and also if you want you can tune in to watch the show on accesstv.org and um, hopefully uh, we'll, we'll be able to entertain you. Uh, at the present now we're gonna, you guys feel like doing a couple songs for, sure. uh, for the audience? Mm -hmm. Don't know why, don't know why, there's no sun up in the sky. Stormy weather, stormy weather, poop. Me and my girl ain't been together, been together, poop. Raining all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. Life is bare, life is bare, gloom and misery everywhere. Stormy weather, stormy weather, poop. Me and my girl ain't been together, been together, poop. Raining all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. Since you went away, ba -da -da. the blues walked in and met. Ba -da -da. If you don't come back to stay, ba -da -da. old rock and jail will get ba -da -da. All I do is pray ba -da -da. The Lord above will let me One wants more Can't go on Can't go on Everything I have is gone Stormy weather Stormy weather Ooh. Me and my girl ain't been together Been together Raining all the time All the time, all the time, all the time, all the time Yeah, since you went away ba -da -da. The blues walked in and met ba -da -da. If you don't come boom boom back boom boom to stay ba -da -da. The rock and chill will get ba -da -da. All I do is pray ba -da -da. The Lord above will let me Walk in the sun once more Can't go on, can't go on Everything I have is gone Stormy weather, stormy weather Ooh. Me and my girl ain't been together Been together Ooh. Raining all the time All the time, all the time, all the time, all the time Oh, when are you dead? You want it, want it, you 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 want you want it, 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 you Chew on it, want it, 
they do what they want to do. They do what they want to do. They feel the warmth of the burning rain. And you know that the building, yes, I know this rain is to what they want to You what you may do a rumble or a tango Mama Calypso is the man Lights are turned down low Now you go hand in hand You do what you want to do You want to do all the time 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 A little bit of salt. Shoot up, 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 shoot
um, without people being offended. But I remember one time, just to show how poor we were, I remember one time uh, we had a cigarette, and in those days, I mean, we weren't even old enough to smoke, but we were smoking. But if somebody would have a cigarette, someone would say, I got the short. That meant that before you put the cigarette out, you got to give it to the, the guy who said, I got the short. But in those days, Henry was one of the few guys. No, we all had them, I guess. But Henry had sneakers, and the bottom of the sneakers, he had big holes. <laughs> <laughs> but he used to put cardboard in there so that, so that his feet wouldn't hit the dirt. You know, he had the cardboard inside so that, you know. But they, well, I'm, I'm just telling the story. You know, ain't nothing to be ashamed about. Boy, ain't nothing to be ashamed about. By the way, I had holes in mine too. All right? But this day, this day what happened was I had a cigarette, and Prince said, I got the short. And I, I forgot he said that. I threw it at the same time, and it went on the, on the floor. So I said, Henry, put it out. And Henry wouldn't put it out. I said, Henry, put it out. I'm going to start a fire. He wouldn't put it out. The reason why he won't put it out is because he don't want to burn his foot. <laughs> <laughs> that's how, no, but, but that's how poor we were. We were so poor that I thought I was rich. <laughs> I never knew what poor was. Did you? Right. No, no, no. Did that, you know what poor that was? That wasn't in our vocabulary. You know how poor we were, George? You know how poor we were? I had three brothers, and we all had to share the cardboard and put a hole in the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> that's poor. That's poor. <laughs> But anyway, uh, listen. Well, uh, uh, good times, though. Yeah, good times, and those to me, those were the best days of yeah. my life. You know, I, I think I was the, the happiest times of my life oh, in those yeah. days. Oh, yeah, they were. And um, I hope that you know the, the kids today can try to get involved in our music and our culture and our. Uh, I hope that we can become role models to some kids, and and um, let them know how much fun you know singing is and um, getting together and making friends. Uh, Friends that last a lifetime because we've known each other since we were 12 years old. Yeah, look at us. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and uh, most I'm of us right now are over 65. Okay. Right. Like I said, most of them are over 65. <laughs> yeah, I'm still in my 50s, but anyway, <laughs> that's a story for another day. We hope you enjoyed the show, and, and uh, we hope that we were able to give you some insight as to how our upbringing and our, uh, you know, our, in our days, and... Uh, that we educate some of the kids as to, you know, the, the fun it is to be able to sing in harmony and, and get along. And, uh, yeah, as a group. And um, I don't know, anybody got anything else to add, Hawk? You said it all. You're present. Yeah. No, that's fine with me. I think it's about it. Yeah. Willie. Camaraderie. That's all there is. Right. Uh, and we hope present. that, yeah, we hope that maybe we can do another show for them sometime in the, sure. in the near future. Thank you, and thank you for watching Access TV. Tune in to accesstv.org. It is what is happening. Thank you very much. Right. Good day. If this is so, I'll be forever loving you. If this is so, I'll be forever loving you. If this is so, I'll be forever loving you. Shoo-bop-bop.